Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel and we are here to teach you derivative rule and we are going to learn the concepts of limit definition and derivative rule, especially the product, quotient, and chain rule. The derivative means a function of real variable measures the sensitivity to change of the function value, output value with respect to a change and its argument, the input value. Derivatives are also a fundamental tool of calculus. Definition of limit means the limit of a function is a fundamental concept in calculus and analysis concerning the behavior of that function near an input. And here are some examples of it. Plus the x squared minus 2x. So we will use the formula f prime of x is equal to limit as h approaches to 0 as f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So we will replace x into x plus h. Minus the f of x. So we will simplify this. So we will cancel the see opposite. Cross out the same. So we will substitute H into zero to get the derivative. So this is our derivative. Let us now move on to the derivative rules which are much more easier compared to the limit definition. First off is product rule. In calculus, the product rule is a formula used to find the derivatives of products of two or more functions. Let's say we have a function. Which is f multiplied to another function g. And the derivative will be f prime g plus f g prime for the first example is x to the power of 10 times 10 x the f here is the x over 10 and the g here is g is Ten. Let us find their derivatives. F prime is equal to and G prime is 
sec. That's good. Next. Now the, the examples derivative is 10, which is f, f prime, x to the power of 9 times g, which is tan x plus b f, which is x to the power of 10 times sec squared x and there you go there's your first there's the first derivative of the, our first example now our, for our second example which is 3x minus 7x squared and 5 plus x squared. Let us say that the f here is 3x minus 7x squared. And our g is 5 plus x squared. Now let us find our derivatives. f prime is equal to 3 minus 14x and g is 2x now second next step is uh, the formula which is the dx f is another function f prime times g plus f times g prime now let us substitute this And there you go there's the next derivative of this equation we are now done with the product rule next up is the quotient rule let's try to solve this problem 7x plus 4 divided by x squared plus 5 where f is equals to the numerator and g is equals to the denominator So the derivative of f is equals to 7 and g is equals to x. Let us now solve this. Using this formula, we can find the derivative of 7x plus 4 divided by x squared plus 5. x 
square plus five times mm -hmm. f prime, which is seven minus seven x plus four times x over x square plus five. The next step is distribute seven which will be seven x square plus thirty five minus fourteen x plus eight x over x square plus five. After this you must combine like terms which will become negative 7x squared minus 8x plus 35 over x squared plus 5 squared. And this will be your final answer. <laughs>